the Florida indexing valve. I call it the Florida indexing valve because you're pretty much only going to find these in Florida. Unless, of course, somebody from Florida moved away, ordered one, and then installed it somewhere else. Again, you're only going to find these in Florida. Let me explain how this particular indexing valve system works because not all of them look like this. This one's actually kind of special. This has a master valve going to a master indexing valve. This master indexing valve is only sending water out of two ports. This port and that port. When that valve opens, it'll send water into the master, and then the master will send water into one pipe, let's say this one. The next time the water turns off, it'll switch a little disc inside of here to the next pipe, which will be this one. And then water will come down this pipe the next time the water comes on. And then it will repeat that process until it gets through all eight zones. The electronic valves I'll be installing in here tomorrow will make this system way more efficient. All right, we're out to repair another Irritrol valve and we installed a new solenoid and I wanted to point a few things out to you about installing new solenoids and what you should be looking for. To start, this nick in the wire right here will cause a fault if this box fills up with water. So we're gonna wanna get rid of that. The other thing that we don't wanna see is daisy chaining. So somebody doesn't wanna connect to that wire nut, they wanna use this piece of the wire, connect from here to here, daisy chaining, don't do that. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut off that bad piece of the wire, strip it back here, and then with the common, we're gonna cut them fresh. And that is how you replace the solenoid and get rid of all the potential wire issues you could end up with. I've got another tech tip for you guys. You're looking for a clog in the pipe and you have a locator like this, grab a fish tape like that, send it into the pipe like you see there, and connect the locator to the fish tape, which is made out of metal, and then use the tracker to track the fish tape to figure out where the clog is. All right, get back out there and have a great day.